Hi, this is Todd from Sniping Rhino Ranch, and in today's video, we're going to clean these rabbits up, get them ready to eat. If you haven't seen our video on how we butchered them and how we cleaned them, gutted them, and everything, go ahead and watch that video. We'll have a link in the description. Uh, but before we get into the video, if you're not a subscriber, make sure and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming homestead-related videos. With that being said, let's get these rabbits processed. first one cut up I'll go ahead and show you uh, what it is that I did so we've got a rabbit here we've just finished butchering this thing uh, rinsed off you know the little bit of uh, fur that we had on it but there's pretty much three areas that you can get meat off of a rabbit you've got the front shoulders here the head would be here these front legs you've got the rear legs and then you've got like some tenderloins on the inside and then the back straps um, if you've ever done a deer it's very similar to that but what I like to start out with is these front shoulders um, because it's pretty easy if you, I'm not sure you can see but I'm basically you can feel that shoulder blade right here so all I have to do is take my knife and cut underneath that shoulder blade and I've got a nice front shoulder there so once I've got that side again I want to make sure I know where that shoulder is but I can go ahead and cut that off and again I got another shoulder it's that simple now you've got this kind of skin right here on either side um, this is basically its stomach that holds all its guts and stuff inside. We don't really use that, but I, I know some people will actually use it to almost like bacon or something like that. Well, I'm sure you could probably uh, do some, uh, you know, maybe some rabbit jerky or, or something like that. But I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. And again, if you wanted to make bacon out of it, you could do that. Or um, you could use it in your bone broth if you wanted. We do a lot of broth, and uh, so we can make a broth out of it. You know, rabbits are a pretty easy animal to take care of, and, and so you can get a lot of them without a lot of work. And so. It may not seem like a lot, you know, two and a half pounds uh, per rabbit, but it adds up pretty quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this front portion. Um, so what I want is to find out where that last rib is. I'll just feel through and I can feel that it's, there's actually a tiny rib right here. So I'm going to use my finger as a guide. I'll cut in and then I'll cut in at a 45 degree angle towards that spine okay. and I'll do that on either side I'll find out where that that last rib is and I'll cut in at an angle about a 45 degree angle now you could you know do the ninja or you can just snap it with your hands um, it's pretty small bones so it's not that difficult to, uh, to cut that just off. And again, we'll use this for our bone broth. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to uh, get these hind legs off. So I'm kind of going to push them down. You're going to hear some a disgusting uh, tearing noise. And what I'll do is I'll cut that back leg off and you're going to feel kind of where the bone uh, from its pelvis kind of makes kind of almost like a cup and I want to get on the outside and you'll also be able to see 
that socket and that's where I want to get that piece of meat at. boom I've got the rear leg there now I'll do the other side and again I want to find where that bone is and kind of cut through there again I can see the socket right here I'm showing it to the other camera you can just see it and that's kind of going to be my guide to get that piece off. And boom, I've got the other rear leg. Now, what that's gonna leave me is kind of like the back straps and the tenderloin. This is just part of that same skin I was talking about earlier. Tenderloins are very, very small. They're this part right here. You know, a rabbit is not a big animal, so you don't really have a lot of tenderloins. But the back straps are actually pretty good. Now you could um, just keep it like this, cut the hips off or whatever, uh, and then cook it just like this. I prefer to uh, actually debone it. And so how I do that is I feel with my fingers where that bone is, that back backbone is, the spine if you will. And what I'll do is I'll take my knife and I'll cut on the outside of that spine all the way back. And I'll just use that backbone to guide my knife. And you can actually feel, hear my knife. I, don't, I can hear it. I don't know if you can. To find that out. And then... I can there's this back hip right here or part of the hip and I'll just can use my better knife here and boom I've got a back strap right there so we'll throw that piece right there again I'm gonna find where that spine is And what I'll do, this is just some of the fat. Go ahead and trim that off. I'll find that backbone and I'll go just to the outside of it. And I'll use that as my guide all the way back down here to where that hip is. Now you can find where the hip portion is here, or it's pelvis, you can cut right there. Again, it's just finding that bone, and boom. And if I want, I can use this for my beef broth, or excuse me, my rabbit broth. And that's all there is to it. I've got two down, I've got three more to go. So, and now we're done. We've got five rabbits uh, processed. We've got all the uh, hind legs here, we've got the tenderloins, we've got the back straps, and we have all its front shoulders. It's pretty simple. Not a lot of work uh, raising the rabbits, not a lot of work butchering them, definitely not a lot of work processing them. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and you've learned something from it. 
If you have, hit the like button and leave a comment. Tell us how you process your rabbits. And as always, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming homestead related videos. This is Todd from Sniping Ronald Rant saying, have a great day.